Hi guys, this is my first tutorial. The aim of the tutorial is to give you an introduction to modeling and one of the approaches you can take to build something in 3D. Uh, I just want to make it simple and easy for you and hopefully get a good result by the end of the tutorial. I'm going to be using Blender. It doesn't matter, you can use any program like Max or Maya, anything that uses polygons is fine. The whole focus is this, of the tutorial is building a car, not how to use a particular program. There's many tutorials on YouTube that will teach you how to use the program you're using. So the car I've chosen to model today, as you can see on the screen, is the Alpha 158. This was the most successful racing car of 1950. It won every race that year. Well, Juan Manuel Fangio drove it. It's a seriously cool car. It's stunning to look at and I hope it'll be pretty easy for you guys to build. Let's get started. So here we are in Blender. I'm just going to go and add a cube. I'm working in the right orthogonal view to start off with so we're just going in a 2, 2D style view. I'm just going to pull up some blueprints. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the box around and scale it just roughly so it fits in with the blueprints. So that's pretty simple. Now it doesn't have to be exact. But now we're going to go into edit mode. And basically we need some more vertices to start moving around to get the shape of the car. So in Blender I'm going to press Ctrl R, add an edge loop, I'm going to press page up, add a couple more, and now we've got some more vertices to move around. So I'm just going to, just going to select one at a time, I'm going to use the box select so we get all the vertices in a row. And I'm just going to move them around to define the shape of the car. So now this part takes a while, so just take your time getting used to how things work. The main thing at the moment, I'm just going to be moving vertices up and down, or left and right. It keeps my top topology flow nice and clean, which is what we want at this stage. Just need to add some more loops here. There we go, so we've roughly got the side view of the car. So now I'm going to jump into the top view. And uh, at this point, you notice cars are symmetrical, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a loop down the middle. And I'm going to delete all the vertices on one side. I'm going to go over to the modifier panel and add a mirror. That, one, that way we will get what we did on one side, we'll mirror on the other side and it will be much easier to make the car shape. So at this point I'm going to do the same thing I did in the side view, just move the roughly basic shape of the car. So when in your own time when you're doing this, just take your time and get that looking really good. So that's now the top view done. It's pretty easy. So I'll go into the front view now. Yeah, it's the same thing. Just make sure everything lines up to the blueprints nicely. And I'll probably just go back into the side view for a second. I'll add a loop 
on the side just to give us a little bit more to find the shape a little bit better there you go so once again when you're doing it at home just make sure you get everything looking pretty good and we'll go back out of edit view and there we have the basic shape Probably not looking real great or impressive now, but there's a few things we can do to make it look really good. And the first tip I'd like to give you is get the wheels into the car early on. Here's some I made earlier. Hopefully the next tutorial I'll take you through making the wheels. But the reason for putting wheels on early is because it makes the shape look like a car and it gives you better results and it feels like you're actually getting somewhere so I always like to get them done the other thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back into the side view again I'm just going to go into face mode just delete those faces there Makes it a little bit uh, more like the car. There we go. It's still not looking real great at this point, but there's a few things we can do in Blender. First thing I'm going to do is turn on the smooth. And the shape's looking pretty good, looking reasonable. I'm going to add a modifier. It's a subdivision surface. There you go. Looking pretty good. Looks like a car. And that only took a few minutes. What I'm going to do, I come over here to the material panel. I'm going to add my paint material to the car. Okay, I'll just give this a quick render so you can see how it looks. And that's the basic car shape that we can start out with and we can move forward and add more details like uh, panel cutouts and vents on the hood. So for now, that's it. Uh, I'll put a link on the website to the blank file so you can have a look and check it out. Hopefully in the future we'll get more detailed on the model. So thanks for watching.